Hey everybody, welcome back. I know it's been a little bit. I haven't really been uh, shooting videos, kind of had some family things pop up, um, but uh, we're getting through it. Um, stuff like that. Um, I have been kind of working on the bug kind of off camera to keep my mind occupied on something else. Um, so this is going to be kind of a a really quick update video um, on what I have been doing on this bug. You guys can see there's kind of a front suspension underneath this thing and kind of a front inner inner well. So let's take a closer look here. So I'll grab this for you. Um, here's kind of the what's going on with the front suspension. We'll dive in here and get a closer look on uh, what's been going on um, so body's not quite sitting down um, the front shock we're gonna kinda do like a Baja style front shock um, kinda a little bit of this is kinda Baja style inspired so front shock um, inner well here see what I ended up doing is I just followed this really closely close as I can um, notch this out for the front suspension we'll do something pretty similar for the rear part of this and we'll pull the suspension outside of the wheel well so you can kinda see those um, front suspension um, there's kind of a base plate a piece of square styrene and then an I-beam suspension that uh, is gonna be hanging out on the front end of this so, most of the parts here are kind of parts been put together, modified. Um, so, 32 Ford front suspension, uh, kind of some scrap made knuckles. Uh, the wheels sit on here, don't mind that they're bent. You won't see it because it's sitting inside the wheel. Um, the steering rod is a custom steering rod off of the 32 Ford. I cut the ends off to mount to the knuckles um, and then added my own bar. Um, same thing here with the oh, I can't remember what those are called but they, I ended up having to short those quite a bit from uh, the factory ones. Um, steering wise we're going to do the steering coming We'll throw this back on for a second. So we'll throw the steering so it comes out the side of the body and then over to the front suspension. Um, got the rear part of everything sanded, of the wheel wells. Um, basically what's going to happen in here, um, we'll come out flat, dive in a little bit, come out dive in a little bit more and then run to the rear and then all the front suspension and everything will come um, on the outside of the wheel wells just like this so you can kind of see that front suspension um, ended up having to hack a pretty big hole in the trunk still got a lot of cleanup to do there and then we'll put a nice kind of half round plate on the inside of the trunk there um, as you guys know, the wheels and tires are kind of the Baja inspired wheels and tires. Um, they kind of sit outside the body quite a bit. I ended up having to have one of my good friends um, cast me another set. So you see throughout the video there's two different ones. That's kind of what's been going on with uh, everything. Um, nothing else has really changed from the last time you guys saw it, but I, uh, I want to say thanks to all you guys for the support and everything from not doing the live feed and letting people know what's going on. Um, you guys are awesome. I really do appreciate uh, all the kind words you guys said. Everything like that um, really means a lot to me and my family. So. We'll be back uh, regular viewing from here on out. So, until next time, guys, this is Dragon Speed Shop. I'm out of here. Thanks for tuning in.